gift card that we're going to create today and it's my last one in my book here and it's going to sit on the page like that and it almost looks like a gift a present there and when I untie it my holly is going to stay there it's attached to the um, front and you open it up and you open it up again and my gift card is going to go in this little pocket right down here at the bottom okay so that is what I'm going to show you how to create today, but we're not going to create this one, of course. We're going to create the one that we could send in the mail. So we're going to start with, and I have to tell you something funny, guys. I ordered Highland Heather, and it came the other day. I needed some Highland Heather um, cardstock, and it came. But I ordered 23 packages of Highland Heather <laughs> cardstock. Didn't even catch it when I put the order in. Never even realized how much the order was that, you know, that would add up to 23 packages. So I have, I wanted two to three packages. And obviously I put in the two, decided to change it to three. So I have 23 packages of this beautiful Highland Heather. Too bad it's not like a red or a green for Christmas. Um, but so you're going to see me using quite a bit of Highland Heather. I love the color. It's one of my favorites. So um, I thought, well, at least it's a color I like. So I'm going to grab a piece of basic white here. So we're going to need that. And we've got our Highland Heather. And then I'm using the hand pen, which is my favorite. And I am going to use the Highland Heather. What ribbon is this? It's the half inch grow green ribbon. So that's going to be pretty on there. Um, I'm going to grab my hand pen stamp set. And I know you just probably didn't hear that at all. Um, so maybe I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's over here. Okay, I'm not finding my hand pen stamp set at all. And I should have used it the other day. Um, here it is, I got it. hand pen petals. So that is the stamp set that I want to use maybe for a greetings. I'm not sure yet. So let's pull that out. And let me grab um, some Highland Heather ink. Okay, I think we're set to go. I think, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna start with cutting a piece of five and a quarter by four, because that's our standard card size. So five and a quarter, I need another piece of this. Okay, five and a quarter by four. No, it's five and a half, isn't it? five and a half by four and a quarter. And if I do it this way, I can get both pieces out of this. So I'm gonna cut this at four. Okay, let me think. Yes, this will work. Um, four and a quarter. And this is an old cutter. My good one is up on the table because we used it this morning. Four and a quarter by five and a half is when I'm gonna cut this. Then this one, we're gonna keep that. And then this one I'm gonna cut at four. I don't know why I couldn't cut it at four and a quarter. Let me not get my instructions here. What did I put? I cut, I cut it at four. I cut it at four by nine. And I don't know why you couldn't cut it at four and a quarter. I, I think you could by nine and three quarters. So let me open that up. Mm, that one doesn't want to open, does it? Okay. Wow, what's going on here? This poor little guy is, there he goes. Nine and three quarters. Actually, I think I'd like it better at four and a quarter. It'd be a little wider. 
Okay, and then I am going to score it. Oops, I left my thing here. I'm gonna score this at three and a quarter and six and a half. So three and a quarter, and let's use the scoring blade, and six and a half. And that's gonna be that little line in the middle. Okay, now we're done with this for now. Thing is really stiff, hasn't been used enough. Okay, so then I'm going to just burnish this. And interesting enough, one of them folds over better than the other one. And you will find which one works better, neither one of them. So I'm getting a bulk in here, which I don't want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off, decide which one I'm gonna have at the top, and I'm just gonna trim off maybe a 16th of an inch, just so that, just a hair, just so that it folds over nicely and doesn't give me that bulkiness. Okay, now I am gonna need some papers for inside here, and I'm gonna to need to cut my designer series paper. So for inside, I need a three inch by three and three quarters. My designer series paper, that's gonna go inside there. My designer series paper, I'm gonna cut at five and a quarter for my first piece. Well, let's cut it at four. That way we won't waste. So let's cut it at four. And now we'll cut it by five and a quarter. And that's going to give me this little piece left over, which might, and these are just scraps, guys, that's why. Um, that's going to give me a two and three quarter by four. So this is going to go on here. Oh, I should have cut it the other way. My flowers are going sideways. Um, <laughs> my flowers are going the wrong direction. Okay, we're going to cut that over. Okay, so we're going to cut it at five and a quarter this way. So watch your patterns, guys, when you're cutting paper, when you're cutting designer series paper. Always watch your patterns um, because that would have been... It would have been okay. My flowers would look like they had a breeze, but now they're gonna look like they're growing up instead of blowing over. Okay, then this one, I could still use this one, and I can use this one. So this one I'm gonna to need to cut, and I'll put all these measurements on my blog. This one's not, it's too small. This one will still work. So let's cut this one down to three and three quarters by three. And that's gonna leave me this little piece, which is probably about two inches, yep. So we're gonna use this little piece, this two inch by, nope, that one has to be, <laughs> that one has to be as wide as the card. So yeah, when you cut these, guys, make some sense out of it. Um, <laughs> this one has to be four and a quarter by two. Okay, because we're gonna glue that to put make our pocket. So that's gonna go there. And that's four inches, not four and a quarter. See, I got that stuck in my brain now that it's four and a quarter. Um, okay, so that is gonna go in there. This is gonna go on the front of here, right side up, of course. Okay. Um, I think, we're, I think we're done cutting. I think we've cut enough for now. And if we need something, we'll cut it again. Okay, so let's start with this. Nope, let's start with this, the card base. So this is your card base and you're going to attach this to your designer series paper to your card base. Just like that. 
That one's just a little crooked. Let's see if we can straighten it up. There. That's one of the things I really like about the liquid glue is you can straighten it afterwards. Okay, so then we have our ribbon is next, which is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and close this up. This is gonna go this way. I'm gonna close it up and I'm going to attach it to my card base using stamp and seal. You may want to use Stampin' Seal Plus. Um, either one of them will work. Tear and tape would work. Liquid glue would work. I like the Stampin' Seal because if I get it on here a little crooked, I can pull it off. But before I attach that, I'm going to put my ribbon through here. And I'm just gonna guesstimate on how much ribbon I need here. And we'll measure it afterwards. How about that? So. I'm just gonna attach that to the back. So I've probably got more ribbon than what I need and I'm gonna attach this to my front and just trim off my ribbon. Okay, so let's see if how we did on the tying. That will work. That'll give us a good tie. Um, so how much ribbon have I got? I've got about well, that's 16 inches right there, and another six, so 22 inches of ribbon, approximately. Um, and if it, your ribbon's narrower, usually you need less to tie a bow. So let's go ahead, and I have a one and a half inch circle punch right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and punch just a little um, tab area here for me to slide that card in and out. And then I'm going to attach the 1 8 inch, um, let's move that out of the way, um, tear and tape. Stampin' Up! does not sell this, um, but you can purchase it online. Or you can get in touch with me, I have a ton of it right now. So I did go ahead and buy a bunch. Um, and so if you're doing the, the Christmas book with me, it will be, um, a roll of this tape will be included in your kit. So, and I'm just gonna peel those off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And this one is not gonna peel, come on. Okay, this is gonna go on the inside at the bottom. And I'm just gonna line it up right with the edge because I wanted to give myself as much room as possible for that card to go in and out of there. Okay, the center here is going to get a greeting. Let's see, what greeting am I going to use? Oops, what did I do with my stamp set? Oh, it's over here opened up. Let's see. Um, I don't know what greeting do I want to use out of this. So there's thanks, anything is possible, feel better. Hmm, I think I'll leave my greeting empty for now. So I can always go back and stamp my greeting in there. So my greeting is going to go in there. Just like that. This is gonna close down and this is gonna close down. Now on the front of my book, my little book here, I am going to add this designer series paper. I almost feel like I wanna flip that over. Hmm. I really wanna put a piece of white there. So on my other one, that's what I did. I put a different DSP there and then put something there. So I'm thinking I would like to put I don't know. I am really not sure what I want to do on here. I kind of want, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I am going to cut this using the dies out of the hand penned. Um, I'm going to go cut that in purple. I'll be right back. Right in Highland Heather.
Okay, let's see how we did. Um, let me go run it through one more time, guys. Um, the inside of it didn't cut as well. The outside cut fine, but the inside just needed to go through one more time. And there we go. That's better. Now all the odd pieces are falling out, which is what I want. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes this is how I stamp. <laughs> I start out with an idea, and it does or doesn't work. We'll, we'll see. Anybody else do that? Nobody else does that, huh? I'm all on my own there. Um, you guys all have an idea, and it works. This is interesting. Now I have two pieces. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm going to say yes, it is, but this is really pretty, this little delicate one here. So um, let me grab my other tool. And let's get some of that miscellaneous stuff out of there. Okay, let's see. What am I going to do with this? If I put this on here, you really won't see it, will you? Mm-mm. -mm. But if I put it on here, you will see it. But if I tie the bow, it won't work. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, you guys. Um, I can't see your, your suggestions. Give me some suggestions. Um, I can't really see them. I'll have to turn my phone so I can. But um, so there's the bow. So do I just add the designer series paper in there? Just like that. It's kind of pretty. I don't know. I'm lost. It works. I mean, it's, it's a gift card holder. So you untie it. Your gift card is inside. I think that's what I'll do. I think I will just let it go like it is right there. And we will call that it for today. And, you know, this is just so pretty, though. I would love to attach that to it somehow. But I think we will pass. Um, the other thing that I did do is I put a die cut from um, the new Christmas set. And it's, um, I know I pulled it out. It's Christmas season. This Christmas season has all of these dies, which are amazing. I love them. They give us so many different options here. So I cut this one out. And it's got these little things that you can put on the ends here and feed a ribbon through them on any of them. So it's really a great set. So I did put, I do want to stamp that and put it in there. And since this is a gift card, I don't know that thanks is really appropriate or anything is possible, which is the stamps that are from hand pen. Um, and this Christmas season set doesn't have any words at all. It's just images. So um, let's see. Um, how about this one? Inspired thoughts. This has thinking of you on your special day. That one would apply for a birthday. Wishing you all the beautiful gifts of Christmas. That was a good one. Hmm. I'm going to use thinking of you on a special day. And then, um, sending healing thoughts. Let's see, have I mounted at you yet? No, I haven't. Okay, let's just go ahead and quickly mount that. And... So you guys, I showed you this technique a couple weeks ago. I'll show you again today in case you didn't catch it. So instead of peeling that off, you can peel this off, place it on here, peel this off of your, peel your tear away paper off of your block, and then place it on something dark. Where's my mat? And now you can see the edges and you can line your stamp up. 
There's nothing worse than words that aren't lined up and that are going uphill or downhill. And then just peel it off. And then I usually just pat it on my hands because my hands have, a, they do have some oil on them. When you're handling paper all the time, they don't have a lot. But um, it just draws some of that stickiness out. And then I'm just going to stamp that on there in my Highland Heather, which is right here. I'll have to figure out what to do with that front other than just leaving it there, thinking of you. And this one could, this shape could have been a little bit smaller. Whoa, boy, is that crooked stamping. Okay, let's turn that over and do it again. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Now you know that I put, I'm now mounting the back side out. These always, when you cut, die cut, it has a little bit of a roundness on the front, but it will work as well. It gives it a different, a little different look. Okay, so if I figure out what I'm gonna do on this front, you can check it out on my blog at stampwithdeb.com um, and that's where you'll find the final, the final thing, the final card. I just, I don't know, it just looks blank to me like it needs something else. On the holly one, I was able to add, I mean on the Christmas one, I was able to add some holly. Maybe if I tie this over here instead and then add a little flower to it. My problem is, is I have to be really careful because anything I add, if I put a flower here, it, I have to be able to untie my ribbon. So if I add one of these flowers, it's a pretty big flower. Hmm. So if I added this over here, I could do that, but it's just kind of lost, isn't it? Just kind of lost in there. It doesn't really show because the paper's so busy. Okay, well, I don't know. I'll see what I can come up with, and I'll post it on my blog if I come up with anything different, and it'll go on my blog anyway. I'll put all my instructions there at stampwithdeb.com. If you need any supplies, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. You can order directly through my blog, which will take you, go to shop, and it will take you to my Stampin' Up! store where you can place your order. Keep in mind, this is celebration for the rest of this month and all of September, so you'll get a free item from the celebration catalog which is stamp the the web page will pop up with it and tell you what you're eligible for um also if you place a 50 dollars order i will send you a set of four free cards that are ready to be assembled made with something really really cute last month we did the penguins and those were super cute and you'll just need to stamp greetings on them and assemble them and i will send you a pdf instruction sheet also so thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you being here and have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.